Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Motorsport Electrics. Today we're going to uh, recondition a typical starter motor for a motorcycle, ATV, or watercraft. Okay, you got your service manual out. You know how to take the starter motor off your vehicle. You cleaned all the heavy dirt off of it. And now what we're going to do is mark it just so that you make sure that you realign it correctly. Some starter motors have the alignment marks on them. Nothing wrong with putting on another set. Let's get this thing apart. Sometimes when you have a, a real old or crudded up starter motor, the caps are a little difficult to come off. You can tap them off though. This is typically what you'll find in a, a bad starter motor. The brushes have disintegrated and uh, caused the starter to be inoperable. Take the drive end cap off now. And you'll notice it's the same way, full of uh, broken materials. What you want to do is make sure as you take it off, you keep an eye on the uh, shims and put them in the sequence that you take them off. Make sure you're organized when you take this apart so it'll be a lot easier when you go to put it back together. Remove the armature. As you can see, the brushes are completely disintegrated. We're going to remove the brush plate so we can gain access to the positive brush insulators, and we're going to disassemble those right now. Remove the nut, remove all the washers and insulators. Remove the stud, the old brushes. and the insulator. Okay, now's the time we're going to have to start doing the cleanup. All the loose stuff can be just dumped out. If you have access to a parts cleaner, now's when you want to get this stuff thoroughly cleaned, thoroughly dried off, so that when you go to reassemble, everything's clean and ready to go. This is the armature, and this is the commutator. Normal wear and tear can be cleaned up with emery cloth. If it gets past that, sometimes it can be cut in a lathe. Other than that, you need to buy yourself a new starter motor. Make sure you get yourself a good quality uh, rebuild kit with new body o-rings, negative brush plate, and positive brush holder and insulators. Okay, now that we've got the starter motor all torn apart, cleaned, the armature is all finished off. We're going to start by installing the positive brush insulator in the body. Then we're going to put in the positive brushes. Okay, the next step is to install the positive stud. Now we're going to put on the brush plate. Make sure that the key aligns with the key in the body. And install the brushes into their holders. Notice that the springs are not pushing against the brushes. Okay, now we're going to install the armature in the body. Next step is to put the drive end cap on and all the shims. Install them in the same way you took them off. Don't forget the end, the thrust plate. The O-ring is on the body. And we 
we've aligned it. It's much easier to put the uh, assembly in a vise to hold it while you do the finish assembly. What we're going to do now is make sure we get the springs onto the brushes. Pull the spring down on all brushes. Make sure they align in the slots in the back of the brush. Now I'm going to install the shims on the comm end, the top o-ring, make sure it's aligned. Okay, we're going to grease the end cap, align the marks that we've put on before, Now that mocks are all aligned, we know we're all set to put the screws back in the unit. Install each screw. And tighten them up. When the starter motor is assembled correctly, and the screws are tightened, you should still be able to turn the armature pretty freely. That's it. That's how you recondition your starter motor. Typical starter motor for most motorcycles, ATVs, and watercraft. Hope this video helped you out. If you have a starter motor that's beyond repair, you can always contact us. We have a full supply of rebuilt and new starter motors to get you going. Thanks.